Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Mike Anderson. Today we're at the newly constructed Wildlife Crossing just south of the Long X Bridge in Western North Dakota. We're gonna visit with big game biologist Brett Weedman, engineer Roger Hilly, conservation biologist Bruce Kraft, and Department of Transportation biologist Greg Schoenert. They're gonna explain why this crossing was necessary. This area is a unique situation in North Dakota for bighorn sheep because it's prime bighorn habitat. We have a major highway that traverses uh, both sides. And so we've had for several years, probably 10, 20 years, our bighorns crossing the highway and getting hit. So there's a lot of bighorn activity in here. And because they don't fear vehicles, it just makes it worse. Well, fruition is we get involved early on with the Department of Transportation to develop and identify environmental impacts with a project. You know, constructing through this area, we have high quality habitat for a variety of wildlife, and we knew there was gonna be concerns with widening the road. That's, you know, more room for the animals that, that they're gonna have to cross, more time they're spending on the roadway. But we also have a safety standpoint that as we increase traffic and increase the width, you know, there's more chances for wildlife vehicle collisions. And historically, this last 10 years, um, there's been a lot of collisions. We worked with DOT to come up with whatever solution we could possibly come up with so to maintain habitat connectivity between both sides of the road. Yeah, we had dramatic uh, increases in traffic volume and speeds. You know, the speed limit was increased from 55 to 65. And these bighorns, when they want to cross like a ram in rut, he's going to cross, he's going to try. And you know, a lot of times they'll get hit. Another issue we had was people would see bighorns right off the highway and they would stop their vehicles right on Highway 85. I came down here one day and there were like seven, eight vehicles stopped on the highway taking pictures of the bighorns. So I actually just fired a cracker shell to chase them away. And you know, you got a big truck coming down. And it was really a, a hazard too to people because you got oil trucks coming down this grade and people parked right on the highway stop looking at bighorn sheep. So one way to reduce that is to install wildlife crossings and help reduce the amount of collisions for, for the public and make it safer. Yeah, the key with this tunnel, and we put a lot of time into the design, bighorn sheep like open areas. They do not like going in enclosed spaces. So a lot of smaller crossings, which would be conducive for mule deer, bighorns would not want to use those. That's why we kind of had this unique design, open it up so those bighorns can see through. The bottom will be flat, it'll be about 40 feet. The span's 60 feet right now, the span is 60 feet. From top to bottom will be about 19 feet, so there's not much fill that's gonna go in there now, but the sides will be sloped up, so there'll be a 40 foot level section and then a 10 foot slope section on the end, so it'll be a nice smooth look to it when it's done. Somebody asked me, why is this structure so big? We want the openness factor of it. When that animal approaches that structure, does it look safe for them to, to go through? You know, so we try to put them in the location and size them properly for the species that we're trying to accommodate. So this area, we have mule deer, we're gonna have mountain lions, we have elk cross in this area as well. So it's gonna be more than bighorn sheep. This one was designed specifically to be uh, enticing for bighorn sheep, but other animals will be using as well. The key will be to, you know, when we put up that fencing to funnel the bighorns to the crossing where they just don't have the option to cross the highway. So this crossing, I think, is going to do wonders to, for mortality. Our population of bighorn sheep in North Dakota is about 350 total. So you compare that to mule deer and whitetail deer, and it's just a tiny fraction of our other ungulates. So every time you use a lose, especially a bighorn ewe, that's a big hit to your population. You know, a pregnant ewe, that's potentially two bighorn sheep you're losing. So every one you lose is uh, significant to us. So anything we can do to minimize that mortality, uh, we'd want to do that. You know, we really, as Game and Fish, we work with DOT. They have their goals and, they, and missions, and we have our mission to protect wildlife and wildlife habitat. You know, so we all had to come together, try to address everybody's missions, and come up with a solution. You know, we knew there's going to be wildlife impacts, and ways to min minimize that is crossings, but also, you know, from a safety standpoint, is we have a Vision Zero strategy right now, and basically that's an initiative to see zero deaths uh, in the state, and that's not only for vehicle-on-vehicle -vehicle collisions, but also wildlife vehicle collisions. 
Yeah, it's been great. It was kind of eye-opening to me, all the different agencies and, and individuals involved in this, private companies, federal government, state government. It's been a, quite a collaboration. I think, it, I don't know, I've been working on it for about 10 years, I suppose. So it's nice to see something finally happening, for sure.